Hello guys, today we'll have a small practical project based on Laravel Breeze with ability for users while registering to choose the locations. You can call it locations, you can call it teams, you can call it companies. Basically, users belong to several potential entities in the database, like to several locations or companies, and then after they register, they may choose the active, the current location to filter some data. First, the demo and then the code. The code is already written, it's not live coding, the GitHub repository will be available in the description of this video. So first, when I register with fake filler Chrome extension, I have to choose at least one location. If I have, for example, two locations, I register, I get into the dashboard, dashboard shows transactions, transactions belong only to that specific location, and that location may be changed in the top bar, so another drop down typical Laravel Breeze dropdown for logout. I just copy that and paste it into change location dropdown or change location link. And then the transactions are shown for that particular location. Or for example, if the location is not chosen in register or one location is chosen, for example, in this case, then that is not shown at all the dashboard link and the transaction is only for that one location like that user wouldn't even know about other locations. Now let's dive into the code. So here's the list of the commits of the repository. It is public already and the link will be in the description as I mentioned. So first I installed Laravel Breeze starter for Laravel. For those who don't know it, it's here Laravel Breeze. It's based on Tailwind CSS and all you need to do into your existing Laravel application, fresh Laravel application is this set of commands. Require Breeze and Breeze install and then also npm install and npm run dev and you have the login mechanism with registration mechanism and the dashboard. So that was step one. Then we have locations. So first the migration for the locations with only one field of address. Then I've created the model with fillable address. Then I've created a factory with location factory, this faker address, and then the seed for location seeder, five locations seeded into the database seeder, main file location seeder. So that was step two, get locations into the system. Next commit is add location to user and registration form. So then I created belongs to relationship or belongs to many actually relationship. If we go to user model, we have locations as belongs to many relationship and also current location belonging to one location, which is current location ID in the user model in the user table. There is a migration for location user. It's a belongs to many pivot table with relationships, nothing else and then add current location ID to users table, like this current location ID references ID on locations table. And then in the registration form, which is provided by Breeze, if we go to register blade, I've added one more field. So these were the default fields with blade components like name, email and passwords. And this is the one I've added locations, choose location, checkbox with locations as array, and each location checkbox has its own value. I didn't bother to extract that into some kind of view composer or registration, it's just one time query. So I've kind of violated the MVC principle and launched the model from the blade, but I don't see anything too bad here. And then in the registration controller, which is also provided by Laravel Breeze, registered user controller. In the method store, I added the validation for locations first, and then in the user create, we set current location to the first location checkbox. And then I use belongs to many relationship to attach all locations, which is array from the post request from checkboxes. Attach the location and that's it. Next was change location dropdown on top. So this one, how to build that one. In app blade PHP, in the layouts of again Laravel Breeze, it has layouts navigation included and navigation blade has a drop down to log out. So this one, again, blade component for showing username. So this one on the right. So I just copied and pasted before with one condition. So if the locations count is bigger than one, then we do need to show that. So we show the same drop down, just instead of name, we have current location address or if it for some reason doesn't exist, no location. And then I get for each of locations of the user, not all locations, but just all the locations from the user. In reality, it probably should be chosen by some administrator or some kind of config. But in this case, for simplicity, I made it into registration. So if it's not the active location, it's not current location, then we show them as drop down link 
with route link to change location. The next commit is actually about updating that. So building that route, route change location, it's in routes web PHP and here. So change location, middleware by auth and parameter of location ID. And I decided to use the same registered user controller, not build another controller and change location looks like this. First, we check if the location is within the locations of the user. So security measure, do they have access to that location? If not, we abort with forbidden. Otherwise, we just update current location and redirect back. And final commit is for the actual dashboard. To build that dashboard, I needed to build a model of transaction, which has three fields, location ID, the most important one, and then amount and description. And then it was also seeded with factory, so database factory transaction. This may be interesting to you, the locations. I get all the locations from the database, but only the IDs. That's all I care about. And then the first of shuffled location is kind of random location. And then random created ad is also assigned from an hour ago to like 100,000 seconds ago. And then in the database seeder, or actually there is a transaction seeder first, I seed 50 transactions and add that to the database seeder here. So that's how we have the data. And then for the route, actually, I decided to change the default dashboard Laravel Breeze into a controller. There was no controller, there was only view for the dashboard. So I used the same dashboard view, but added the controller, or in fact, we used the same controller with just new method of dashboard. Here's the dashboard. I get the transactions only of the location ID, which is current location by the user, and then show that in the dashboard blade as a regular table, nothing really fancy, just some tailwind style. So time, amount and description, created add, maybe some nuance of formatting the amount because the amount is stored as integer in sense in the database and then transformed into dollar amount while viewing. Also, there is a for else command, which you may not know. It's kind of like for each in the blade It's just allowing to not check if transaction count exists. There's empty. So if the transaction is empty, there will be this part shown. And that's it. I've quickly run through all the project code. You can dive deeper into that repository. It's kind of like a simple example, but pretty often case that I find in my questions on YouTube, your questions, I mean, or other questions on Twitter, like how to deal with user in multiple locations or companies or teams. So this simple project may answer some of your questions. If you have any more questions, add them to YouTube comments and let's discuss and also subscribe to the channel and tell your friends to subscribe. I have kind of a silent goal to reach 100k subscribers by the end of 2021. We'll see how it goes, but you can help me with that. And also you can help financially to be able to have more time to shoot more quality videos. I would be glad if you support financially by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen and see you guys in the next video on YouTube.